Hi everyone, my name is Katie Massey and I studied at the University of Birmingham from 2006 to 2011. I studied a BA in Modern Languages and I chose to study German and Italian. And I then went on to specialise um, working in the education sector um, and then furthermore into girls' rights and gender equality. So I am now a consultant in girls' rights um, and human rights um, and I do that uh, both as a, an independent consultant for myself um, and I work for various charities and NGOs as well. Um, so I always loved studying German at school uh, and I did German and Italian at um, sorry German and French at GCSE and um, and then took German to A level and when I was looking then at my university options and um, and subjects I could study it was between German and English literature. And when I then really looked into courses, I thought, well, actually I could combine those two passions. So the passion for speaking a language and the passion for literature by studying German, because there are options to not only learn to you know, develop my language skills, but also um, to take modules on German literature. So um, that's how I decided on speaking German and studying German. And I knew I wanted to do a second language with it um and uh, I wanted to branch away I'd done French um, for a while so I just looked at what other languages um were like kind of possible to combine with German and um, landed on Italian and I had never been to Italy I'd never spoken a word of it um but I thought well it will be a challenge and um and I'll learn something new so I started that ab initio um, my first day at university was quite terrifying um, because I couldn't speak a word, but I quickly picked it up. And I chose Birmingham because um, I was looking for a university that combined um, an excellent academic record and had uh, really great sport facilities. I'm a very keen sports person. Um, I played very high level hockey um, all the way through my school years. And um, as soon as I visited campus at Birmingham, I saw the sports facilities um, and met some of the sports teams at open days. Um, and it really felt like this would have you know, would be the place that I could combine both of those things. For many years, part of my heart will always be in Birmingham. And I actually stayed on living in Birmingham for years after I graduated because I loved it so much. Um, I think I really loved playing sports. I played hockey, ultimate frisbee. I joined the women's frisbee team um, and I uh, tried to play lacrosse as well. Um, I joined Brum Surf, so I went surfing um, every couple of weeks. We'd go down to North Devon. Um, so I joined lots of societies. I was also on the Kids Adventure Committee. I don't know if Kids Adventure is still going, um, but I was uh, activities coordinator for a few years for KA. Um, and uh, I was in the Pirate Society. Don't know if that still goes, um, but I just kind of thought, well, I'll just try everything, you know, and, and that was something I also really loved about Birmingham is there were so many, um, so many things to do. Um, and it's so multicultural and there's so many parts of Birmingham to explore that I really, um, I really enjoyed that. Um, I have really fond memories of Selly Oak um, because I uh, had a role there um, while I was at um, university of being a community warden with the Guild. Um, and so um, we had a campaign called I Love Selly Oak. And what we really tried to do was foster great relationships between students and the residents. And we'd put on pub quizzes to raise money for local charities. And we'd go around door knocking in Selly Oak for hours and just chat to everyone and see you know, how they were and how we could make Selly Oak a better place to live. So I just feel like I really threw myself into every possible way of you know, like in, enjoying, life, um, enjoying life there. And I also really loved campus. I really loved how that kind of green it was. Um, I really felt inspired when I was studying um, and going to the library and um, yeah, really kind of uh, enjoyed. I really enjoyed my degree as well, but I think the extracurricular stuff really is what I've probably got um, really fond memories of. So I initially went to Florence. I thought um, I was going to spend most of the year in Italy because that was my beginner language. Um, and then I was planning on doing just a semester in Germany over the summer before I came back to Birmingham. Um, so I was in Florence about three months, um, which I loved studying there um, at the university, which was an incredible experience. Um, 
studying things like Renaissance fashion and you know what an amazing city to do that in um, and be able to go to all of the galleries and, and see the things you're studying in real life in the galleries as well. Um, so I really, really loved that. Um, but yeah, I got quite unwell. So I deferred my year, the rest of my year, um, and then restarted um, the following year. And I then decided to split the year equally. So I went back to Italy, but went to Ferrara instead. So in the northeast, um, kind of between Bologna and Venice. And again, I was studying there. Um, and I preferred it there, actually. It was much easier to speak Italian. Um, Florence was incredible, but there were so many tourists. Um, that everyone wants to practice their English with you. Um, and it's quite easy when you feel a bit nervous about speaking Italian that you can just do that. But in Ferrara, um, yeah, lots of opportunity to speak Italian. Um, and then I went to um, Erlangen in the south of Germany in Bavaria um, and did um, a semester there um, and loved that, really loved that. I mean, I was there in the kind of spring summer months. So that was, um, that was really great. But I think the Erasmus experience really, um, really helped me when I came back from my final year, really helped me recognise why I was doing this degree. Um, and I wasn't just sitting in a classroom trying to learn, you know, conjunctions or verbs or anything. It was actually I'd gone and experienced what it felt like to be able to speak to someone in their own language. And then, you know, that made me want to work harder. So. Yeah, I came back in my final year full of lots of um, motivation to um, to really work hard and, and get the degree.